Hi everybody, Greg Smith from the SMA Solar Academy and today I'm going to talk to you about the module level monitoring available with the SMA Sunny Boy 240 microinverter. Now your plant monitoring is achieved via the Sunny Portal which is SMA's free for life monitoring service. Your plant data can be accessed anywhere in the world at any time via a cell phone, a tablet or a computer with internet access. In this video I'm going to show you some basic features of the Sunny Portal and show you how to navigate through some of the features of your microinverter portal page. Let's get started. So I've already logged into sunnyportal.com and entered my email address and password and now I'm looking at a site in El Sobrante, California and the first page you'll see is this plant overview page and the plant overview page has this really neat dashboard effect right there the first thing you see. So let's look at a few things on the dashboard. The first thing we can see is the current power being produced at this moment by this microinverter plant. Right below the current power is the total amount of energy produced for that day. To the right we can see the CO2 avoided and then on the very bottom we can see a weather box and a location box which is actually the latitude and longitude of the microinverter plant. Now underneath the dashboard is where we can really get into the nitty gritty of the plant data. So let's scroll down and take a look at that in more detail. So scrolling down below the dashboard we can see some really interesting stuff here. For this particular day we have a nice power curve and I can move this red line throughout the day like that and we can see the modules wake up, we can see them go to sleep just like that. If I click on a particular module, then we have some data that shows up, including the power that's being produced from that module at that point, even the tilt, the orientation, and some other data. Now, I'm going to scroll just a little bit so we can see that I can look at this plant data by day, week, month, year, or even the total amount of power that this plant has produced since the first day it was turned on. On the right hand side of this display, you can see that we have the ability to zoom in or zoom out as much as we want, depending on the size of the array. And we also see the orientation of the array in the bottom right hand corner. Now I'm going to scroll up the page so that we can see some more data on the left hand side to choose from. Just below the plant overview tab is the plant profile tab. So let me click that. So here we get a, a little bit of information about the plant itself that was operator entered. For example, we can see that the plant was commissioned on this day. It gives the location and some specifics about the power, annual production, CO2. But at the very bottom, it also shows the devices in that plant. And here we can see we have a multi-gate and 12 Sunny Boy 240 microinverters and then we can even put in the types of modules in the plant. So going back over to the left menu selection we can see that there's an energy and power tab. I'm going to click on that and now we can see another power curve for this particular day and this one is interesting because you can see a couple of humps on the curve that represent shading probably from clouds. And this display also gives you the option of looking at the information by day, month, year, or even E total, which again is the total amount of power produced since the system was first commissioned. The annual comparison tab gives you the ability to compare years worth of data. So 10, 15, 20 years down the road, you can look at each year and see how your system is produced. Now, this particular plant's only been up a few months, so we don't have any yearly data to compare. But once the system's been around for a while, then you can really dig in and start doing trend analysis on your yearly values. What I want to show you now is the system overview back in the plant profile if you have an inverter that isn't operating correctly. So here I've scrolled down into the system overview. Hey, what I'm going to do is move the red line over into our profile here of the day and here we see an inverter 
that is showing zero watts. This inverter has been disabled for this video to show you what it would look like if your inverter is bad. So this is invaluable information. This is downtime of that particular inverter. The installer would be able to service this inverter by responding to the email from the Sunny Portal that something is not right. So speaking of reporting, let me show you how to set up a report. Now this is very useful for the installer because he can set up a separate report just for him for those types of emails which require his attention and then you can set up a totally different report for the homeowner to send them things like e-total, how much CO2 you saved, you know, all that cool stuff. So I've already clicked on the configuration page and I've already clicked on report configuration. So let's take a look at how to set that up. So here you can see the email address of where this daily report's going and I've set this up to send a report every day at 5 p.m. So the email address that we see here will get that email every day at 5 p.m. and it will have this data inside the email, the daily yield, reimbursement, CO2 avoided. And for this email, I've selected an HTML, but I could also select a PDF or a text to be displayed in the email as well. And that is it for this bird's eye view of our module level monitoring for the Sunny Boy 240. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at sma-america.com. Click on the Solar Academy tab, and then you can see a list of upcoming trainings. Thank you for watching. My name is Greg Smith. We'll see you next time.